Hello there. I apologize for the dog that is barking in the background. I'm also now adjusting this stool so I can put my foot on it and that's loud. Um, I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to do stuff. <laughs> we're going to put things down and play with stuff. So uh, there's four planners here. And I'm just going to talk a little bit about some of the things I'm doing. But first, I thought what I would do is, let me move these ones out of the way. Just kind of show you where I am with my rings. <clears throat> this is, um, I always say it because people always ask. So this is my Giglio Medium Campania in the Epoca Green. I got this secondhand. I absolutely love it. I'm so glad that I got it. Um... Uh, yeah, I don't ever foresee myself getting rid of this. I do have two other Gilios that are in the same size. Excuse me. I'm drinking watermelon bubbly. If you haven't had the watermelon kind, oh my gosh, it's so good. Um, and eating pretzels, so. <clears throat> okay, so I have this in my gold, which most of you guys have seen. That was what I was in right before I went to the green. And then I also have a black, which I might go into, I don't know, later. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows when? Um, okay. Uh, I haven't really changed anything, so I'm not going to do like a whole flip. I was just going to go in here and just see like where we are. This was yesterday. Yesterday was like a wash. I worked actually until 1 p.m. So I need to change that. We'll just cross that off. And then I had my appointment. Um, I talked about that what last week that I went in to get the work done to start getting a crown on my far back left molar on the bottom. And I had the temporary done. The whole experience was just so stressful and I had an anxiety attack. I think it might've been like my first major like situation where I felt like that. So I knew I had to come back. I was supposed to go back last week, but they rescheduled it because the actual crown that they had ordered hadn't come in yet. So I ended up going in Monday. And I was, I did okay. It was just really stressful. And I think also because they, they used like, I guess they said the strongest adhesive uh, glue that they can use um, because it's a back tooth and it's going to get used a lot. Um, and because I had cracked the tooth. So that's what they were doing by doing the crown. I didn't have a, a, a cavity or anything in it. So anyways, yeah, this was just like, after this was done, I came home, I was going to dust, I was going to do a bunch of stuff. And I was just like, I was exhausted mentally and emotionally <laughs> it's so sad I just feel like I've never experienced it like this in my life and it's just like oh wow okay so yesterday that was pretty much it I did make dinner um it was really good and then this is today so I just finished working a little bit ago um you notice I'm trying to put this in here like in my scheduling because I just don't give myself time to like after I'm done working I need to stretch. I need to do like stretching exercises because I work from home and I'm, I have a nice comfortable chair. I'm teaching classes online and I just, when I, when I'm done, I need to get up and move. And then I also need to rest a little bit. Sometimes I need to lay on my back like flat just to kind of get my back to relax. Um, I have some studying I need to do. I have a meeting tonight and then I just have a little list here that I've started already, but I haven't finished anything. So I won't cross that off yet. So I just need to put in Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Let me pull this out of the way. Wednesday. Uh, and what's Wednesday is the what? 13th. And so I will work from 6 to 9. And then I have... At 10. And then that's it for tomorrow. And then I'll, I'll do a to-do list tomorrow for once I get home. That is, uh, I've just kind of taken to writing these in and I, I don't use really, I don't really use stickers in my dailies because I'm not going to keep these. Like I don't, I don't plan to keep all the papers that I'm doing. This is not like a, like a decorative memory keeping kind of a thing for me. This is just like What's the basic, basic stuff that I can have open on my table or on my couch and then I can just go through and check things off like random stuff like did you fold the laundry? Did you put it away? Um, that kind of stuff that I'm trying to trying to keep track of. So for this, I think I have an appointment at 
11 with Debbie. And then I think with the girls at four. Okay, and then dot that eye. Um, I don't think I have anything else major going on this week. So we'll just mark it all. I already forgot. I think it's a 15th, yeah. That's crazy, but it's already the 15th. Okay, so Friday I need to pack. Um, going to visit my cousin. So that will be fun. And this is my last uh, piece that I had cut out of my Hobonichi cousin from earlier this year. All these um, really thin pieces, I love it so much, have all been from there. I can't believe, like, this is from October 16th to, this is October, November, December. Like, that's a lot. And it just takes up such a little room because of the thin paper. Um, and then I did have some blank pages in my paper tests weekly from this year that I wasn't going to use. So I cut those out. And then this is also some of the blank pages from my Hobonichi Weeks uh, Mega that I had from earlier this year. So I'm not wasting it and I, it makes me feel really good and it fits perfectly here in my personal. So um, this is the old Tomo River paper and then this is the new Senzen paper, Tomo River paper. And it is just a little bit like the old paper was just a little bit thinner. The new paper is a little bit thicker, but I still really like it. I love writing on it with my ballpoint pens. I get questions about that all the time. I have found that I just don't care for gel pens. I've tried all of the different gel pens out there and I just smear and make a mess of all of my pages because they take a long time to dry. Even the Sarasa dry ones, they're just not, it's, the, it's different than a ballpoint pen. Like the ballpoint pen is just, it's almost instantly dry. So, um, and then we, anyways, that was like a, rant so then I have it we're having a tea party up there so it's going to be fun at my cousin's and then Sunday um 17 we have a meeting I think she said 10 a.m and then we will drive home and then my little um Cousin, Mar I say little, she's like 19. She's going to come down and stay with us for a couple days to visit, so that'll be fun. So, I mean, that's just the basics, and then I will fill in my, my list of what I need to do. Um, I need to do a whole flip of these so that I can take them out because I need to I need to go through and do like a whole shuffle. I'm going to shuffle deco, I'm going to put in 2024 uh, monthlies and stuff like that, so I need to do that. Uh, where's my marker? So we will put this back here on Tuesday. And then I need to, like I kept the weeklies in here. But I'm now I'm doing my weeklies and my paper tests. So a lot of this I can just take out. Um, yeah. Okay, I think that's all I really needed to update in there. I need to print out another of my cleaning trackers because, oh, where did I put that? Because the one that I have, I didn't, I didn't print the December one. So now we're what? It's the 12th today, 13th today, and I haven't been tracking any of this. Some of this I did. I moved the mouth guard to my paper test. So some of it I did, but I need to print out this tracker. I'm going to try to print it on the Tomo River paper too, that you can just get that on Amazon. Okay, so that is all together. I've just kind of taken to putting my pen in there because then even though it's chunk, it will still fit. So that's nice. Isn't that pretty? Makes me happy. Um, <clears throat> okay. I think I'm done with this book for this year because I've been setting up my, I might go in and do a little bit of stuff in there. 
Um, I honestly, I have not journaled in about a week. We had visitors last week and we were spending time with them and I just was tired and didn't do a lot of journaling. Um, I will go through and any additional paper that I'm not going to use, I will cut out and find a way to use it either in my ring planner or something else like, or find something to use in here to, to write in. Um, but I love flipping through all of these pages of all of this journaling. And I love all of the prompts that I had gotten from Drilling Home and just all of the pretty decorations. So this will continue memory keeping photography. I still need to print out the pictures for that. Oh my gosh. Um, I might print out some of these. This was the collab with um, the Neutral Planner and L Plans. And it's I have it from the front too that's um, the Pride and Prejudice. It's so pretty. Um, anyways, yeah, I still, I mean, I do have some empty pages back here that I can also trim down and use these in my, um, in my ring planner. So it won't. And somebody asked me how I do it. I'm not going to do it on camera because I really need to focus and it's not like a beautiful thing, but I just have a slice tool and I just go into the crease and I slice and then I keep slicing. And then as the pages come out, I just scoot them out. And then if I need to clean it up, I just use it on my paper cutter, the guillotine that I use and... Yeah, it works really well. Um, I'm absolutely in love with this. I love the color. I love um, the like pink accents that I have with the um, the pretty bookmarks from Southern Bell Plans. Yeah, I just like it. But I don't currently have a pen in there because I put it in another planner. Okay, let's go to what I am currently using and then we'll talk about future stuff. Okay, so I started using this. I ordered this cover from Salty Katie. I have a clear one that I did have on here. And I just wanted it. I don't know. I kind of want this to be my funky, happy place. I'm kind of going funky this year. Kind of back to like my roots of like, I love, I love hollow. I love sparkle. I love comic stuff. I love everything. Disney. I'm just going to put whatever I want, wherever I want. And I'm not going to make myself feel like I need to have a theme for a whole planner. That's like, I don't know. I don't like that feeling. So um yeah this makes me so happy I just got this in today and switched it out and I'm just like instantly like yes much better um I did do the inside I showed this on Instagram I did a washi dashboard all of these are like Lauren Phelps um London Gifties Simply Gilded London Gifties Simply Gilded London Gifties Simply Gilded London Gifties Simply Gilded <laughs> Blending of Dees and Lauren Phelps. Yeah. This sticker is from Mr. and Mrs. Mint. This one is from, this is also Mr. and Mrs. Mint down here. This one is from um, Type A for Alexa. And then this one I think I got on Amazon. And I didn't stick it down because I just want to keep it. It just says, hello, I am an extrovert. And it has like a kind of a hollow look to it, like a rainbow. So I liked that. <clears throat> Type A for Alexa. <clears throat> Excuse me. Is this my minimal? High Paper Cloud, I think. High Paper Cloud. High Paper Alexa, Planner Monkey Co., The Angel Shop, Southern Bell Plans. You can order customized stickers for your name. Amazon. This is The Angel Shop. So I have these here. I'm going to find like a little clip and put them, put them here because I want to use one sticker per month to like mark off the months. Um... I'm still going back and forth with what I want to do with these pages in this planner. In my rings, I had a um, insert that I got from my minimal planner that's like appreciate the day. And it's like a little tiny line of things. And I would write things like a good cup of coffee, you know, one of my friends name. If we went to lunch, I'd put like, you know, tea with Melissa or whatever. I can, I feel like I can still fit that in here. So I'm kind of thinking about doing that and just having these be like my small line of appreciating or, you know, some people might call it gratitude, but I just want to keep it super, super, super simple. That's one idea. <laughs> I have other ideas as well, and I'm just not quite sure what I'm going to do with that yet. This is my month, um, how it looks so far. This is all stuff from Southern Bell Plans. I love it. These are those little Midori clips. And I really like them. I'm just trying to decide if I want to tab this up or not. I haven't decided yet. I love tabs. I did tabs on my B6 and I'll show you guys those. And I really love them. So anyways, 
I haven't decorated the rest of the months because I think I'm gonna do it just as the month goes by. I find if I do it too far ahead of time, then I get stuff and I'm like, oh, why didn't I use that? Like, oh, I wanted to use that and I didn't, you know? Um, so this was week one. I love it, turned out beautiful. This was week two. I also love it, I think it turned out beautiful. Um, and then this is week three where we are. So we're gonna decorate this a little bit. Let's see, I have some stuff over here. So I have these from Happy Scrappy, which I don't know if you guys saw, but like one of the like biggest, like, I don't, I don't know, I guess like privileges, like I feel honored is that Sam at Happy Scrappy uh, approached me and asked me if I wanted to PR for her. And I was just like, yes, I love her shop so much. Um, anyways, she has these new date stickers. They're washi stickers. They're beautiful. She has them in a million different colorways and you can use Nessie 10. Um, I love that they're not month specific, so you can just use them for whatever you want. And I really, I just think they're so cute. So I thought these would be really cute with some of these coffee stickers. These are from a kit I got from the Rosie Life Planner. Um, I've had these for a while, or I was also considering using these, which are from Happy Scrappy, and they're just so stinking cute. You know what? I think I'm going to go cute today. I think for this week, I just want to go cute. Where did I put my tweezers? Good grief, Vanessa. Oh, they're over here. I have my lap desk over on the couch. Sometimes working at the table, my back just starts hurting. So I took, I have this lap desk and I took it over to the couch. I'm actually going to pull this out and sit down for a bit because my leg's going numb. Is that okay? Okay. Um, Anyways, oh, I forgot. These are not, oh, okay, that's the problem. Hmm, so the problem is they're numbered and I was thinking these, but they're not the right dates. I didn't think about that. 11, 12, all the way to 17. So that would be these colors. But I could just, cause these are dated. Let's see what this looks like over the top because they're clear washi. Oh, that has a 31. Hold on. Okay, what would I do? One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, what do I want to do? I didn't think about that. That's what I get for just grabbing stuff and not thinking about it. Um, 11 through 17 would be here to here. Well, let me put this deco down and then I'll think about that. I'll make a decision about that later. Okay, so we have to use this because it's adorable. Um, she has a lot of different choices now for paper and I love this washi paper because it's really thin and then it won't bulk up your, your book so much. Little chocolate swirls. It is just so stinking cute. I really, really love it. And I think I can put that there and still get away with it. Um, is that gonna come? I don't wanna cut his ears off on the top. I think it'll be okay. A little chocolate swirly in my end frame. It's one of the reasons why I always stand up is because when I sit down, then I have to like lean up and look over the top of the thing. I think I wanna put this one up here. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> Sometimes like I, I mean, you guys see me, like I love all of the really cutesy stuff. Uh, I mean, like, okay, rewind. I love all of the really like beautiful, beautiful stuff. Like I, I love all of this stuff. This I think is cutesy. But, like this is really grown up to me. Like a lot of this stuff is, <laughs> I, I say that like I'm like 12 or something and I'm 44. But sometimes it's just these little really cutesy, um, whimsical, adorable, right? Like kawaii kind of style that just, it's so, it just makes me happy. I think it's so happy, happy kind of stuff. Just put you right there. That's cute. All these little hearts cut out too. Anyways, sometimes when I get back to doing stuff like this, I just find that it makes my heart 
happy, it's fun. Um, I have to put this little. And then this little guy we can put over on the other side. What did I have going on Friday? I can do that. Where do I want to put it? Where do I want to put it? I feel like it needs to go over here somewhere. Let's put it on Wednesday. Tuesday. Let's put it here. That's cute. And then I don't think these are cut though. No. I mean, I could cut those out and use them if I wanted to. Those ones don't. Okay. D01 01. But you can just look through her newer stuff and you'll find it. That's so cute. Okay. I really like that. I'm just still. <laughs> this has the gray in it. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll hold off on these. I should have thought that out a little bit more and paid more attention, but that's just not where my brain is right now. Okay, so... Uh, okay, I can mark some of this off for today. And I need to get a... I need to get a Tombow that I can do to match that. Let me grab my little bag of Tombows. Somebody asked me about this and I swear I have it linked. I'll check again. They have it in different styles. I just got the mama one because I'm a mama. But it holds them perfectly. So, oh, I had that. I forgot I had that color dot in there. Okay, so let's see what we want to do. One of those might work. Maybe one of the light grays might work too. The rest of them are pretty dark, I think. Let's see this one, this one. Okay. So let's take a look with these ones. I can't use the back of that. Let's open this. We'll use the paper back here because I have enough to do that. Okay. So let's see. This one. No. That's got almost like a green undertone. That's a maybe. That's N95. I think I like N95 better. No. So yeah, I think I like that. That's too dark. And then let's check these ones. These are more of like the earth tone. Like, mm, mm, actually, that matches pretty good, huh? Be a little funky fresh, maybe. What happened to this Tombow? Did somebody use this? What, what happened to it? Somebody used my Tombow and messed it up? That's not good. I like that one. Hmm. 850. I'll have to order 850. Okay, so now I need to decide if I want to do this one or this one. Would it look really funny if I did one and then the other? Like back and forth, back and forth? Do I care? Because I do have this color popping pretty hard. Let's do the gray. Let's just do the gray. Okay, so we're gonna highlight the, the titles. Is that like what I should call them? The titles of the, like what I'm tracking? I will be doing like a, like a 2024 lineup video, but I'm just waiting until, I've been slowly putting things together. Like you've seen, like I've shown kind of what I've been slowly doing it. It's just not, I'm not up to it right now to do a setup on camera. I'm just not, the idea of it just sounds really stressful. I'm just not up for it. So 
I decided to just take my time and as I want to play with my stationery and do stuff, I'll just set it up. And then I can um, just do a flip through of the setup and, and what I used and everything like that. So that's what I'm planning to do. Maybe I'll just highlight these. Just for fun. I sound like a Nacho Libre. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. I made homemade fettuccine alfredo last night. That was really good. Um, I don't think I need to put anything else in there right now. Oh, I'll just write in. How long is this video? How are we doing? Oh, 25 minutes. That's not too bad. Okay, so I needed to get some Dayquil for my son. And um, I need to still call DPS. DPS. Okay, and then I need to call DJM. This was at 2 p.m. And then I'm going to put on here. Okay. Yeah, I think that's really cute, and I'm really happy with that. I like it. I like it. And that's what's important, right? What's important is that I am happy with what I'm using. And I am happy with that. I have these two. Um, yeah, that's nothing else in there set up. Okay. <clears throat> so I have this pencil board from Happy Scrappy. And then I have this one that I got from Simply Create Doodles. And I'm thinking about um, maybe laminating them together so that it's like two-sided because I think it looks really cute because this has the holographic and then this has the holographic and then I can have both of them in one. So I'm thinking about doing that. I made this page. Um, I had this in my other weeks. If you watched any of my videos, like my setup for my 2023 weeks, I had a page that was just like things to help for anxiety. And so I kind of went through and I read up some more about different things I could try to do. And I just made it pretty, some of this London, London gifties, uh, pet tape. Um, and then I'm going to do a couple other things like that in here. I have this from Taipei for Alexa, which I have talked about that before because th these pages are taller than the Hobonichi Weeks just by a few millimeters. And so I did just slice the bottom and then it just fits over the top. Um, tuck that back there. I have these. And so I want to put these in as pain trackers and possibly mood trackers. And so that's, again, where I was considering... Where do I want to put these? How far do the months go? Do I just have January? Yeah, so I could put these here and then they'd be in the front of the book and then I could put a piece of vellum in between and then I could just mark them. And I'm thinking this time about either drawing something in like a, like a face or using a color to differentiate that. I have a bunch of the little dots that I used. If, again, if you've seen my other um, setup for my, does that cover that? Yeah, it does. It really does cover it perfectly. These are a printable from the Style Planner that you can get from her website. Just go to the Style Planner um, and look at printables. And then I think I paid just a few dollars for these. And then I'm able to use them all year round. I'm doing this because just like this year, like I've already started using my other planner, um, my new planner. So I don't, I don't really need to forward plan the month in this book because I'll be already setting up and probably using my other one, my new one. You know what I mean? So there's that and that fit perfectly. And then let me put this one in. And then I'm trying to decide. I think I have scripts somewhere that I'm going to find. One of them is uh, for pain tracking. I'm trying to decide again. Like, do I want to do it for pain track? Like, what am I going to do it for? If you see my setup for my Hobonichi Weeks for 2023, I had one that was like pain level and I, I would put various different colors to kind of see my pain level. 
and then I had like a mood one and then I had an anxiety one and I had a um, cycle tracker and all that kind of stuff. It was too many trackers for me to be doing like that. I like what I'm doing now in this book by just having a basic weekly tracker to keep watch on this. And I actually could put in here like my cycle tracking if I wanted to, or I could probably fit that in on those other pages that we were talking about if I wanted to as well. I don't know. But yeah, that's what I need to, to decide here is where um, I'll make a key probably down here for what the colors mean, excuse me, um, or the symbols, and then I'll fill in for like, I'm, I'm thinking probably anxiety and then probably pain so that I can kind of see, I like to be able to look and see like, is my pain level, you know, for January, was it coinciding with my anxiety level and just being able to, to look at that? Because then also I can take this because this will be in my purse to show my doctor. So that's kind of where I am with that. So I wanted to put those down. Now I do have this. I want to say this was a freebie from, was this from Nib and Floor or from, is this Nib and Floor? Who's this from? Um, oh my gosh, I have to check. There's another account. Oh my gosh, I can't think of it. I'll look up and find it. I think it was a freebie or I might have bought it. I'm trying to decide if I want to put this in somewhere. I don't know that I need it, but it just kind of matches the whole coffee aesthetic thing. See, I could have put that there. I just don't know that I need it somewhere, and that's the thing. So what what page? Because the nice thing about these is that it doesn't, like I don't have um, a bunch of wasted pages. Like the Hobonichi, you would just have all these pages in the back that you'd need full page stickers to cover stuff because it was ridiculous with the amount of pages that they use in the back that we could actually use functionally, but they put all of these, you know, like, like some of it's fine, like the my 100 or whatever, but some of it, I'm just like, come on, man, like how to improve your handwriting and all that kind of stuff. And even when I got last year, I got the English version. I was just kind of like, I don't, I don't need this. I would rather have blank pages. So now I have blank pages and now I, so then I, you know, it's not as default as it was with the Hobonichi because I always wanted to cover all those pages. So that's like last year I had all of my trackers on those pages to cover them up because I wasn't going to use them. That looks really pretty. Then I can put a pretty piece of vellum in here too for this. So then I'll have one. I put this in. It says, uh, this is, um, this is a full page sticker that I got from Southern Bell Plans. And then I just put things that I love because it says do more of what you love. And so I just put a few things in here and then I can just fill it in more. And I used a Klenna, an Energel Klenna that has the brown ink. And I think it looks really pretty together. So yeah. Okay, those are the things that I really wanted to put down. See you now. Um, if you got the Josephine Bow end of the year box thing, um, I'm going to show some of the things from that. And if you got that and you don't want to see them because you're going to wait and open it up day by day, like that's fine. But I'm just letting you know right now that I'm going to pull this out. So a few things from that box. Um, these are really pretty and I really love them. These are really pretty. Also, there's a 2024, a word of the year, and then some tabs. So the problem <laughs> is that I have a lot of coffee stuff in here. And so, but I mean, I do have a lot of pink. Even though, I mean, that has pink on it. See, I could just do what I want. I, I know that I can do whatever I want. So this is what I was thinking. I was thinking to put these on all of there because it's really cute. And then I don't know where I want to put the rest of it. I don't know. I don't know. I might just use a blank page, like one of the first. I have that first blank page after the, I did this one here, but then I have these two pages that I could do like the 2024 and the word of the year. That could be cute to kind of do a little thing there. And I don't think I'd want to use these tabs on this planner because I just think they'd be too big. But let's just for funsies put these down over here. I see, I'm just trying to do that thing where, where again, I'm just like, it doesn't matter. I can have this be however I want it to be. And if I want to put pink and flowers on some of the things and I want to do brown and whatever on some of the other ones, I can do that and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Should I put that down a little further? Okay, good. I didn't want to cover the... Um, Josephine Bow 
is one of my favorite shops. She really does like impeccable foiling. She really has just beautiful style. You do have to, if you live in America, be prepared that the shipping will take a while. Um, her processing and her shipping, it, like it, it will just take a bit for it to get to you. So like if you're wanting stuff, you know, to set up a planner before 2024 20, starts, I wouldn't say order it right now because you're probably not going to get it for a while. But if you just see some of the stuff, like some of the stuff that I use or like who else uses her a lot is uh, Rachel Beauty Plans uses her a lot. Um, Beth Plans uses her a lot. So I just, for me, I think that it's worth the wait if you like some of these really pretty foiled stickers, which I do. I need to pay attention when I'm using so I'm gonna put the wrong sticker on the wrong thing. Not that anyone would be shocked by that. I'm, I'm, I'm frame, okay, good, we're still in frame. <laughs> I keep forgetting that I need to look up and check on that. I'm used to standing up and then I can just watch it as I do it. That's so cute. They really fit perfectly there, don't they? Like, it makes me wonder, did she kind of, because you know, the Hopanichi Weeks has a similar kind of, well, no, that's not true because the Hopanichi Weeks one is just two pages and it's really, really tiny, isn't it? I haven't been in my weeks for like six months or something. I used my weeks and my cousin really well for like the first six months of the year. And then I just kind of burn out on it. Um, and then when Paper Test came out with her planners, I was just like, that's what I want. I love the fact that it's neutral. There's not a ton of colors. I love the paper. I love the quality. Um, I mean, pretty much everyone that I know that has gotten one has just been absolutely in love with it. Okay, that is super cute. I'm so glad I did that. That makes me happy. And maybe even what I could do, like what, what would I put here? Would I put like, a quote a day or something like that. Like for the other one, the, the space that you got is really small, the one in the week. So a lot of people put like the number of their steps or something, but that's what I was thinking I could do. Just a line a day, a quiet, a quick little one or two words, three or four words, just for that day to be like, you know, coffee with Shannon or service with Rachel or, you know, hugs from my son or whatever I want to put in there that I could just put something really quick and I think it would be fun. And I would just use whatever pen I wanted to use, whatever ink I wanted to use and just like, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, not that anything I do is perfect. <laughs> um, but yeah, like that's what I'm kind of thinking. Okay. So I think we're good for this. I'm, I'm going to think about how I want to do this. That's really pretty. Because I could also save these two, but then it, it matches, you know? Because what if I did, okay, here's an idea. Here is an idea, you guys. I have, where it's right here. This came with acetate. What if I put a piece of acetate in between each of these and then I could do the 2024 on one. I could do the word of the year, like I could do, these two back to back on one of the pages and then I could do these two back to back in the other one. Oh, I'm going to do that. Yes, I will do that off camera because um, and when I do like a full setup, that is what I'm going to do. That would be so pretty, wouldn't it? Yeah, that works for me. I'll probably put it like this. <clears throat> okay, we have a plan. So I'm gonna put this together. Maybe I'll use some of the tabs, maybe I won't, I don't know. I'm still deciding what I wanna do about that. And then these, like, I could use these as tabs for different places if I wanted to, like maybe in the back for, um, you know, like maybe right here I could put, so basically what you do is if the, if the stickers are mirror images of each other, you just put one on one side and one on the other and then they match up and that's how you make a cute tab. And what I like is that the this part goes down further so I could just have this little part sticking up and then it wouldn't be too much. Um, yeah, I might just do that right now. Let's see what that looks like. Well, should I put it down here on the bottom? Because I think I would have to do it like right there. That's the only thing that would cover my butterfly.
I could do it on this side. Yeah, let's do it on this side. Let's do, what colors? Oh, somebody's knocking on the door. Okay, I'm gonna end this video here.